Good day, folks. Mean Joe Green and I have your Take Tuesday. It's back, back on Forza. And uh, I got some drifting footage with this beautiful Hemi Cuda, which has quickly become my favorite drift car I have. It, it has overtaken the Ram, it has overtaken the Volvo. It seems like a hard place to unseat, but damn it, I love this car. It is so nice. Um, but it's actually here for it's this the gameplay here is, is here for kind of a reason. Um, my question for this week's Your Take Tuesday and for my European viewers or uh, you know Asian if I have any or Australian, um, this will probably be you'll probably see it on Wednesday. But for my fellow North American people, Canadians, Mexicans, um, United Statesians, you will probably see this on Tuesday unless you know you went to bed early. This will probably be uploaded around. 9 or 10 p.m. Um, so, <clears throat> the question is, we're talking classic cars this week. What is your favorite American classic car, your favorite European classic car, and your favorite Japanese classic car? Um, and when I, I'll consider classic anything pre-1980s. So, you probably know, like I said, this thing's here for a reason. You probably connected the dots to know that what my favorite American classic car is is this beautiful thing right here, the Plymouth Hemi Cuda, which is, I just love it. I'm a huge Mopar person, and this is easily my favorite muscle car. It's like the Challenger, which is also awesome, but I feel like it just has more edge. It has more testosterone pumping through it. The grill, I think, looks a lot... It just looks a lot more intimidating. It has a more intimidating stance. And uh, it's by a car company that started... Uh, that eventually died due to rebranding Neons, which, as a Dodge person, you know, probably the worst thing ever made. Um, but, yeah. So, my favorite, Amer my favorite American classic car is easily um, this Plymouth Cuda. Plymouth Hemi Cuda. The Hemi sounds so nice. It's such a bloodthirsty, man-eating car. It's so badass. It just—I feel like if you dro if I drove one of these, I'd have to kill people, like at least three people, you know. Uh, and uh, I guess for American, if you want, you know, you want to have your pride, or you're like Mexico or Canada had some breakthrough classic car, and you're so proud to be whatever. Then you can go ahead and say that. Or say North American. <laughs> I'm not like degrading or anything for that, but. It's probably unlikely though. Um, so yeah, favorite American classic is the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. <clears throat> now on to European, and uh, oh, there's a lot. There's definitely this is a hard choice for me because, I mean, for the muscle cars, I just love the Plymouth Cuda. So even though I like a lot of muscle cars, that was a pretty easy choice. But European cars, I like them too. But it's a harder choice for me because there's the there's the original Mini Cooper S. There's all the old. Especially the old rally cars, Fiat 131, Stratus, Escort. But uh, you know, and then a lot came down out during the Group B days that I like. But that's after, that's you know, I'm talking pre 1980s here. So I would have to go for my favorite European car. Would probably have to be the Ford Escort, uh, just because it is the way I just love the way it looks. I really wish we had the European spec escort over here. Just everything about the European escort is ten times better than the American escort, which, which I can tell you is absolutely an atrocious abomination of a vehicle. <laughs> but I just love. I'm a rally's my favorite uh, motorsport. Of course, you can't really watch it. You can, you can follow it, but you can't watch it. At least in America. Um. And just the f the Ford Escort. Mark 1, Mark 2, whatever, is definitely, I mean, it's a British car, so, um, it's just everything I, I love about, you know, if I like, I love boxy shapes on cars, I don't know why, I love all the 80s box cars, like the Ford LTDs, Caprices, stuff like that, um, Diplomats, <laughs> uh, but the Escort is just, I, I mean, I love it. It's the way it looks is just brilliant. It's um I don't know if it's a world rally champion. Uh it might have someone might have drove it to victory. I think no, it someone did. Yeah, it is a world rally champion. Uh that's the one that's in this game. Derp. Um 
and it's just a nimble rear wheel drive thing and i feel if if they made something just a small nimble rear wheel drive sedan today that'd be fun to fling around and the escort is just this awesome rally thing i, I used to drive it all the time back in a dirt 2 when i used to play that and i, I made a uh, escort drift car on this game which i need to tweak a little bit to make it you know i guess better for me but yeah so that uh my favorite european ford escort rs8 rs 1800 i think is what it is whatever mark one mark two but yeah I, I like all the european escorts too they're just a lot better look at that guy and his monster sylvia mm, yes i got i got monster logos all over my sylvia why am I talk like that? A person who has monster logos all over a Sylvia would be like, Yeah, bro, got monster logos all over my JDM imports, so I'm ready to drift. I got Ken Block and I got JDM imports, so uh, I got the best of both worlds. I got D1 and Jim Cotta all in one car, bro. Yeah, wear tank tops and snapback hats, and I put them on sideways as I drive around in my Honda Civic with a loud exhaust. <laughs> I don't know. That was just kind of random. But, uh, you know, and it's just, <laughs> I hate when... I hate Honda Civics with loud exhaust and only loud exhaust because I know someone who has a Honda Civic and they work, they put a lot of work into it and actually it's nice. I, I'm okay with uh, a lot of that import stuff as long as, you know, it's not, I mean, there's a difference between ricer and, and then import, but anybody who hates on import will call everything a ricer. Um, but there, that's a great segue to the next thing. Um, my favorite Japanese classic car and um, that would easily probably have to be the Datsun 240Z. I, um, when it comes to Japanese cars, although the Impreza is probably my favorite Japanese car, as a whole company, I would have to, I would probably have to say Nissan is, is my favorite because I love Maximas, I love the, I love the new, all. I mean, course it's it's the new the newest one is gay because they only offer it an automatic not that that's gay alone but you know they don't give you any options there but uh i love the skylines and sylvia's and i just love the z cars and my favorite z car though is the 300 zx but the t dots and 240z because i mean um what else is okay i mean i love the way it looks i love how it looks like this uh it looks kind of like a uh, jet. Yeah, like I saw it uh, in some Top Gear video. It did, you, you can see its inspiration from the Jag E Type, which was also a beautiful car. But then they made it all Japanesey. And the thing about Japanese cars is, you either love or hate Japanese stylings, and you can tell when something's really Japanese. For instance, Evo Skyline, really Japanese-looking cars. And I like that whole thing, you know. That's why I really like the 2012 Charger. When people, you know, or the 2012 Charger SRT8, people looked at that grill and they're like, "What's with the Evo grill? Like, what's with the Skyline or what's with the, uh, what's with the GTR grill?" I thought it looked awesome. I think it's, a, I, I think on a Japanese car, it shows aggression, and that, that I feel like that translates well onto muscle cars because that's what they are. They're aggressive, and uh, you know. The, the Datsun 240Z, I just, if I if I wasn't looking for a car with more than two seats, I would love to have one. I love the way it looks. I love, the, it's a rear-wheel drive. The, you know, it's Genesis for the Z cars, I think. Look at that. I lost 6,000 points because that bastard. <laughs> but, yeah, so that that is, uh those are, those are my um, opinions right there. So, favorite American classic, Plymouth Cuda. Favorite European classic Escort, favorite Japanese cla cla classic 240Z, and I actually had to do a project where I compared the uh, where I had to compare old stuff to new stuff, and I chose for automobiles. I chose to compare the old Z to the newest one, the 370. So that was fun. But uh, yeah, guys. So in the comments, you know, you know what to do. Tell me your opinion. What is your favorite classic car? What's your favorite European, favorite American, and favorite Japanese classic car? Because hopefully, I feel that all true car people can respect all cars and not be blinded by their hatred towards a certain country or region. American cars aren't that good, but I feel like a lot of people dislike them because of their hatred towards America. And then a lot of people dislike Japanese cars because they, they let the civic stereotype 
keep them down and they call it Jap crap. Those kinds of extremists on either end piss me off. But yeah, guys, so I'll see you around. Peace.